I got it. I finally got it. I've sent so many gems. I finally got it. Oh. What's the ratings? C plus C, C. Okay, I can change that. Oh, I finally got it. I got pride. I'm so happy. Okay, let's... How much can I feed him up to? 102. Okay, I have more than enough. Yes, dude. Finally. Go ahead and upgrade that. And oh my gosh, yes. I got it! I got it, finally! After so long! I've done so many rounds! I've been saving so much money, I can actually save it for the next update, finally! I I'm not even kidding. So if you watched my stream, I summoned like 25,000 gems, almost probably more than that, worth of money to get pride. Didn't get it, got no mythicals. Then I already spent like another like 5k... Or like, I think it was like 7k actually, and I got nothing. And then I just spent another like 5 or 6k. And I finally got it. I've spent literally 50,000 for this unit and it's so worth it. Okay, I want to do this unit right though. I need to get his stat potential higher. So that way when I evolve him, he will be stupidly powerful. In fact, I just want to try one random roll. Because how many do I have? Yeah, I have seven of the full rolls. Let's do one reroll potential. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll keep that for now, but I want to get this super high. So I'm going to try to get his worthiness all the way up. And try to get like an S plus rank on here and try to get like an S one. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Let me go grind him up real quick. And then I'll get his potential. I've done so many rounds. I deserve this unit so much. Okay. So I ran around with it. I got more than 500 kills and I just want to test something. So I'm not sure if this is a thing. So something I want to do with this unit is I want to get a really high base stat roll before I re-roll it. But apparently making the day isn't the one that increases these stats by default. Because essentially what I'm doing is I want to get a really high percentage on this. And when I evolve it, the percentage will go even higher. So it's like the easiest way to get like S, 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 S ranks, stuff like that. And 18% isn't enough for me to roll. But I'm going to, I just want to see if this percentage saves if I evolve it. Let's go ahead and quickly evolve Pry. Unlock it, dang it. Oh, wait, I don't have the, all the items for it. Um, I forgot that I actually need items for this. Let me, let me go get the items real quick. All right, there we go. Finally got enough. So let's go ahead and evolve it. And I'm just curious to see if it keeps the 80% worthiness. And I want to see if these stats go up because I'm pretty sure the stats don't go up unless you go to Pride the One. So here we go. Pride a day. Need one million sunshine. And yeah, okay, it does keep it. So it keeps the worthiness and I still have the exact same stats. So that was not the one that goes up. So what I need to do is I need to try to get one of these or hopefully multiple of them to be like S ranked or like A plus. So that way they go up to S whenever I evolve it. So I'm going to spend a whole bunch of time trying to get this guy 1 million sunshine, which might take me a day. I will have to see. But also try to get his worthiness up. That's going to be the most important part. In fact, I, I can already do this. There you go. 20, 25,000 sunshine. I got a Reaper. <laughs> Last roll gave me Reaper on Escanor. Okay, so I want to try to get all of these stats to A+. I just got them to 100% worthiness. So I'm going to do a total reroll, and I'm hoping for at least one of the stats to be A+. So let's see if we get lucky. Uh, A, A, B+. That isn't too bad. A+, plus is what I want to try to get if I want to get S+, plus stats. I think I'll try to do one more roll, which because I, I still need to grind a whole bunch of stats on them. But I do technically have a whole lot of chances because I still have eight more of these to use. But I still have a lot of sunshine to go. I only have 300k of the 1 million. Okay, I've done one more worthiness roll and I think my stats are a bit better. Um, let me, I haven't actually checked yet. Let's see what the stats before I rolled were. Okay, so this is a little bit better than the roll I had beforehand. The first the roll I had right before this one was like 2% lower on damage. And the same cooldown and like 0.6 less range than what this is saying. So this one is a bit better, but honestly, now that we got like all an A's, because this one was a B plus, now it's an A minus. I think I'm going to call these stats good enough, because there is a chance for it to roll high enough to be like an S minus or S, which is kind of what I want to get. It would be a lot of luck, though, because the increases on evolving, I'm pretty sure, are random. So you could get like 0.2% more or like a whole percentage more, which would be amazing. Considering triple S is like 20%. But I'm very close to having the guy evolved. I have just like a couple more rounds to run. I can probably just go ahead and do the portals for him. Actually, I will just run Infinix as fast. It's actually easier to do. But let me get the last 80,000 sunshine. Then I should be able to evolve this character. So I'm very excited to finally get this one on my own. So let me run with infinite real quick. 
And there we go. Now we got one million sunshine after one round. Barely got it. But before we go ahead and evolve it, I just want to quickly see one last time what my stats are. Because I want to see how much they go up. To the point that I'm going to go ahead and write them all down. So there we go. Let's see how lucky we get with the stat increase. Hopefully decently lucky. Because this is a very, very good unit. And I might do some stat rolls on them. I mean, no, not stat rolls, trait rerolls, because I would like to potentially get this unit as a unique. That would be amazing next to my Aizen. My Itachi really isn't cutting it anymore for like anything like leaderboard related. But, but let's go ahead and evolve the unit up to Pride the One. Look at that. That thing is spectacular. Oh my gosh, I love the fire particles. So let's see if we got some more stack cubes. That's perfect. Let's see what our stats are on the unit. Please be good. I don't think we got an A. Okay, we got A plus A plus A. Honestly, that isn't too bad. The damage went up by 2.2%. Then we got 1.3% more cooldown and 1.5 on the range. That isn't too bad. They aren't S ranked, but they might as well be. Those are incredibly close to S. I'm not quite sure what the minus. I don't know. I don't know what S minus is. Isn't it? I think it's like, is it 17 or like 18? I don't know. Because I know like SSS is like 20 plus. But either way, that is an incredible unit. Very, very strong. Let's go see how strong this one is specifically, though. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to go ahead and bring the Aizen along just to compare DPSs. Just look at this unit, though. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm so glad I finally got this unit done. But look at that. 5,000 damage on placement. But here's the unit. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I finally got it. I'm going to go ahead and farm my money up real quick. And I'm going to let the waves go high enough to where he has his maximum stats. Because if you don't know how this unit works, essentially, for the first 20 waves, his damage and range will go up every single range until a like, set limit, which is like wave 20. So you want to get the prides down as soon as possible, especially if you're doing limited time rounds, like the 15 wave ones or the 20 wave ones. You want to get them down immediately because there's a really big damage increase, which I'll show at the very end, the difference between a fresh pride and a fully upgraded pride. Well, let me go ahead and farm my money just so I have something to do while I wait for this guy to level up all the way because this guy has a lot of grounds to go. But my lord, is he powerful. He's already at 22 range and 6.9 thousand damage. This is amazing. Okay, there we go. The unit is now maxed out, I'm pretty sure. So here is the default damage on this unit after 20 waves. 12,000 damage, 32 range, 7.4 cooldown. And then just to compare to the default, the damage is over double and the range is so much higher. You can even see when I do this. The, um, the range difference on the exact same upgrade is crazy. But let's go ahead and start upgrading the pride. First upgrade is 22,000 damage, same cooldown, and, and 0.9 more range. So there we go. Then we already get a new attack, Sun Spear. Damage shoots up to 30,000. Same cooldown, 0.8 more range. Let's go ahead and use that. So it goes from this circle AoE to a slightly bigger circle AoE that does a pretty cool attack too. Let's look at that one more time. He summons fire in his hand and throws it at the enemy. That is pretty cool. But let's keep going. 41,000 damage, 6.9 cooldown, and 34.8 range. Then 55,000 damage, same cooldown, and 0.9 more range. Then a Cruel Sun. This is one of the big attacks. 69,000 damage, same cooldown, same range, just by the attack, which turns into a slightly bigger circle AoE, where he does the exact same thing as before but bigger he literally just summons a bigger ball of fire above his head and throws it at the enemy that is really cool but let's keep going 83,000 damage 0.4 less cool less cool down and then 35.7 range then 96,000 damage then same cooldown and a bit more range then pride flare damage goes up by about 2,000 more same cooldown 0.9 more range, but the AoE does change into a full AoE. Or now the axe is glowing and then he slams the ground and everything's on fire. That is such a cool attack and it is so fast too. 6.5 seconds is incredibly fast for that attack. But let's keep going. 110,000 damage, 0.5 less cooldown and 40.2 range. Then 138,000 damage and one, and then not 0.9 more range. And then I'm pretty sure that's max. It isn't. One more upgrade. 173,000 damage. 
and then 0.9 more range and then that is the maximum stats on the unit look at that dude it covers a huge area just to compare to the aizen at least mine here's the maxed out aizen stats it is unique but the range is 35 this has 42 range also additionally pride has about half of the cooldown maybe less than half as the max out aizen does i do have a really really good curse on my eyes like negative 10 percent cooldown so his cooldown is pretty low for an aizen but just look at that difference this unit is absolutely amazing and just to compare to the default pride without any round buffs look at that difference literally gains just a, just under 100,000 damage and then the range is like 10 lower that is that, that buffs it gets from those first 20 rounds is amazing but this unit with reaper and pretty good that potential has a 28.8 thousand dps with three placements that is with reaper by the way so it's basically superior three and just to compare it my god speed aizen i wrote because i wrote down the stats at aizen with god speed 22,000 DPS. So this thing has 6,000 more DPS than Aizen. It has more range, a way lower cooldown. But the only downside is that it is one hit only. So it is not a multi-hit. So shredding through shields is not an option. But I think it kind of makes up for it on the cooldown. Where he does attack quite often compared to the Aizen. And he does deal way more damage too, to be honest. But just to see with a 10% boost on this unit, 180,000 damage is 30,000 DPS. That range is so good too. 42 range is amazing. So I have a quick question. Should I try to get this guy as a unique? He is really, really good without it. But getting this guy with unique would be absolutely insane. His The amount of damage that Pride would have, especially alongside my Aizen unique, I would be able to do so much damage on rounds. But yes, I'm so glad I finally got this unit, dude. I've spent, I literally think I spent just under 40,000 gems and through different summoning times just trying to get this one unit. And it's definitely worth it. This is going on my main team. In fact, let's go see what my main team should be now for like anything but like leaderboard runs. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say that he does hit air units though, so keep that in mind. But I'm guessing my teams I would do would either probably be this one. I could also, if I needed more damage, I could technically replace Ichigo with Meliodas, because Meliodas does overall do more damage, even without a trait, than my unique Ichigo. Because while, yes, Ichigo does have the ability, it does technically cost me over 60,000 yen just to use it once, because it deletes the unit. And his, and his base DPS isn't that high anyway, but it'd probably be like this team, this team, because Itachi is very good. But most likely just going to stick to this one because I can literally solo all of the infinites with just these three units. Like these three do enough damage to solo every single infinite. But I mean, it would be kind of cool to get this one as a unique because it would do so much damage alongside my Aizen. 